welcome to the Kiwi Sizzler web series. My name is Chris Fortune. I'm really excited to be talking about our brand new Kiwi Sizzler barbecue. It's stainless steel, designed in New Zealand for New Zealand conditions. And here it is over here. Fantastic small barbecue. Great for taking in the caravan, on the boat, in the water. It's big enough for the whole family to cook with, but small enough to be really portable. This is all about the Kiwi Sizzler barbecue. It's going to be a great addition to your summer. Come in a great big box, well packaged. We're going to open this fantastic barbecue up and we're going to have a look see and see what's inside it here. Let's have a look see. Fantastic. Look at this. So, the specs of the Kiwi Sizzle barbecue we've got these latches on the side. These are designed for when you're traveling, you can lock it down. Of course, we've got this fantastic great big glass window that you can see everything while you're cooking your food, very important. We've got these huge big buttons at the front to control our gas and they've got little rubber inserts, non-slip, non it's fantastic for the Kiwi Sizzler barbecue. And the legs under the front here. So you've got tahi, tuku, and fa. So this is all designed so that you can either use it with the legs or without the legs. Fantastic way if you've got a really small space, fold the legs up. If you want to get it up nice and high if you pick that table, bring them down. And that's the best thing, it makes it super sturdy and that's not going to go anywhere. So the Kiwi way of doing things, the instruction manual, yeah, you can throw it away. But it's really important, in here gives us all the safety instructions. It's telling us about wiping down our barbecue, making sure everything's nice and clean, how to put the flame tamers in the right place, and making sure that grill bar is locked down, really important. Okay, so we're going to show you the most important part, which is all about the safety around gas. You've got your blue thingy big on top, that goes off. And gas is always the opposite, you turn it anti-clockwise to tighten it up and you turn it clockwise to remove it, okay? So, we're gonna, the gas has been connected when it's going in the bottle. Wiggle the regulator while you're screwing it in, and that way, you get a really firm fit. If you don't do that, you can sometimes cross-thread it. Okay, so that's nice and firm. We're gonna test to make sure that it is. So, what you're gonna need for this, for testing it, is a little bit of soapy water. Good old-fashioned dishwashing liquid. Goes in, give it a little mix-up. And when we turn our gas on, we want to check and make sure there's no leaks in here. First thing you can do is you can smell it. Is there any leaks? Okay, and then your soapy water, you can just use just by drizzling it over top. And what you're looking for is air bubbles. So if there's any air bubbles in it, they're going to blow up those bubbles, and we know we've got a leak. So this is looking pretty good. But the first thing I always do, have a smell. So now this is the best part, lighting your barbecue. One of the tricks with these barbecues, look, let it burn for about 30 minutes before you actually start to use it. That way it dries everything out, gets everything nice and clean. So, very important, you need to read the instructions. Always open the hood before lighting. And it sounds pretty simple, but so many people, they leave the hood down, it fills up with gas. We don't like that. So, we're going to open the lid, we're going to push in the button, we're going to turn it. You can hear the gas, hand over top, you can feel the heat. And then you let it go, and we've got a fantastic flame happening there. Do the same on the other side. Push in. And it's as simple as that. Turn it down to medium or low. And we want 30 minutes. And at this time, you can close the lid. And it's as simple as that. This is our Kiwi Sizzler barbecue. Fantastic at home back of the car, picnic tables, back of the boat, it's pretty good. Okay, 30 minutes, and we're gonna leave that to burn off anything that should, shouldn't be there. We've got our legs out, so we Okay, so we've got our Kiwi Sizzler barbecue, we've got this fantastic uh, big handle at the front. This is nice and cool, when you go to touch this, you're not gonna burn yourself. Same with the front, but you have to be careful with all these other hot spots. Now there's 12,000 BTU coming out of here, so that's pretty hot. And you're going to have to be careful, especially when you've got young families and kids running around. The key is, this cooking surface area, you've got two big strips down here, and they're going to be where you do all your main cooking. As it gets cooked well done, you're going to move it off to the side. Okay, so lots of space to feed the whole family and all the troops at your barbecue. Make sure we close this big lid down, that's going to trap all the heat in there, and that's going to make sure we get all those big cuts of meat really well done, all those lovely large pieces of fish. So thanks for watching the Kiwi Sizzler web series. 
look, we're going to be online. Check us out. We're going to have lots of recipes, chicken, fish, meat, venison. We're going to be teaching you a lot online. We're going to be catching, cleaning, cooking every week. Lots of different videos. Meat, seafood, some of my favorite Kaimawana seafood. You're going to be eating it with the Kiwi Sizzler Barbecue. My name's Chris Fortune. Jump on our webpage and our YouTube channel and have a look. Make sure you check out the Kiwi Sizzler brand and good retailer stores all around New Zealand.